a quickie. Um, but we can, I'm not under any time constraints like normally on a Friday because I'm off today. Today is our spring break um, holiday. So when the kids are, you know, I work for University of Virginia, when the kids are away for spring break, we get Fridays off. We get that Friday off. And so they are on spring break this week or have been on spring break this week. And we get Friday off. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of Prussian blue and I'm going to use a lot of white because I just want kind of put in a blue background for part of this. And then for part of this, we'll put a little bit of a green background in. Um, and so I kind of just want a little bit of a sky at the top. Nothing, nothing hard or, or major, just a little Prussian blue with a little white. And give us a little bit of a sky. So how are y'all on this Friday? Tell me, y'all have fun weekend plans? Cindy says her husband is finally home. I know she's happy about that. It's like nice to have a little time um, to yourself, but it's also nice when they come home. <laughs> By the time they've been gone for any length of time, you kind of miss them and you're ready for them to be back home. So we're just gonna work a little ways down on our um, canvas. No rhyme or reason where I stop. I'm just gonna stop where it feels like a good place to stop. You got seven inches of snow in Michigan. Oh my God. I think at this late in the game, I think I would just be like, I'm done. I'm done. I guess, I don't know. I mean, I never thought about it before, but obviously like in places in the UK, it doesn't really snow too much. Cause I saw yesterday where it was like this big news thing that like parts of the UK, um I think it was like South England and Wales area got snow and they were like making a big deal about it and I'm like it's just a little flurries people but I guess they don't get snow so I don't I don't know I did not know that but we're just gonna like have a little bit of a cloud just a little variation of that sky, just to make it look like, yep, yeah, there's a sky back there. We're gonna cover up 90% of it. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so don't be precise about that part. <laughs> just returned home from Florida in time for snow. Oh my Lord. I would be like, yeah, no. Uh, The speckled perches this weekend, parade, craft, kettle drive, and rodeo. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. You'll have to take your barrel racer and show them your painting. <laughs> Be like, see, I painted a barrel racer. Um, just go grab a little bit of green. Hopefully things are better now uh, for y'all um, now that the, I don't know how it did two videos at one time. <sighs> oh, Lordy. Just go pick up a little white with a little bit of this. Uh, what color did I put down? I think plantation pine. Nope, Hauser medium green. I still have a little bit of that blue in, in my brush, but you know what? It doesn't matter. If a little blue gets down here, it just makes a little darker patch of grass. That's fine. Again, it doesn't really even matter too much because we're gonna we're gonna cover all of this up. So or the majority of it up. So we're just we just need paint on the canvas, right?
blur that line where land starts. It doesn't matter. Back in there. I need a little more just pure white. I don't want the dark. I don't want the blue in it because the blue will actually darken the green a little bit. And I want it to actually lighten the screen back in here. And let it be a little darker, closer to me, right? Okay, that's better. That gives me what I'm looking for. All right, I'm gonna dry this. And then we're gonna sketch on what we're doing. Like I said, we're gonna cover up 90% of this, so it doesn't matter. So Sydney reached out to me. She sent me a picture, which was super duper cute, of some stacked um, flower pots. And she said, I want to see your version of that flower pots. And so I said, okay. And of course, this was, was it yesterday or was it Wednesday? I don't remember. I think it was yesterday. Anyway, I told y'all this has been a really weird week for me. I can't keep my days straight. Um, and so I said, well, you just you just pick what we were going to do for Friday because I was thinking about like what am I doing for Friday live you know and and I was like well let me just pick it what we're doing it's what we're doing for Friday's live um it was Wednesday Okay, it was Wednesday. I told you, I can't keep, I can't keep like, for some reason this week, it's just felt really weird to me. Started on Monday and. I think it's just gone. I think time just goes so fast. I can't keep track. Now, she wanted to see my version of some stack pots. And so I happen to, in my yard, have like a topsy-turvy. Um, stack pot of course there's nothing in it now hey sherry how are you um and one of my flower beds and so i'm just gonna kind of do like that one and the first pot i don't know how many i'll get but i'm gonna at one least sec. oh lord now she's gonna say i'm not sure i understand but i wasn't talking to you siri so i don't know i was talking to sherry <laughs> <laughs> at least she talks to me now i don't know she manages when i say the wrong name to talk to me so i'm gonna put in one fire pot that is straight right because we have to start with something and so we're gonna put one fire pot in here and i'm just gonna kind of do kind of just a little square right we'll paint it but I just want to kind of get like, okay, I want it to be this, this big. The little flare pot. Okay. And so, and then inside of it, I'm going to have another one, but I want that one to be kind of a little offset. And a little leaning because what I did is I drilled a hole through the well, they have a hole in them anyway. And I kind of used the hole, but I, I, um, the holes that were in, but I kind of like sat like one over here on the side and I kind of tipped it a little bit. And then on the next one, I set the other one going this way and tipped it a little bit. And then, and so it's like a topsy turvy type, type fire pot, right? And so that's kind of what I want to recreate here. I might make this a little bigger and just go kind of all the way to the edge. So it's like super close. That way it gives me a little more room. 
yeah, I think I'm going to like that better. And then of course we're going to have our rim. And then I want the center. I want to kind of mark the center. And I'm just going to go up with a fine pencil line. I don't know if y'all can see that, but because then the thing is, is that the rest of the pots, I don't want to do it too much. I don't want too much. I'm going to grab my ruler. Catherine would be proud of me. I'm just going to like come up a little ways and put my other one in here. And it's going to lean this away. Now, of course, it curves, it turns like that, right? Because you kind of see a little bit of that bottom as it goes down in there. And then it's just going to come out here pretty, pretty like the same angle. And go like that. And then I don't normally use rulers, guys, but in this case, I'm going to use a ruler. Okay, I'm liking that. What did I do with my, oh, there it is. Is this your plans for your own yard? Actually, I have one of these in my own yard. I have one of these. I did it, I don't even know how many years ago now. And it, um, I plant different things in each one of the pots. And I try to put in something that trails down. And so in this pot, is going to go that direction. It's like a topsy-turvy type pot. And so, and they get smaller as they go up. They're a little bit, a little bit smaller as they go up. And so then that goes like straight across kind of like here. And then that would come out here and go up like this. But you drill holes and then you put the dirt in them and you know, you can, and then you have your, I'm gonna come over like this just a little bit and have it over like that. We're gonna we're gonna adjust these just slightly, but I just want to kind of get the general like okay layout on here. And I think we're just gonna have the three, and then we're gonna make it look a little more like I said, like it's a flower pot. Right. And so Where it's dimensional, right? And so just clean it up a little bit there as we go. And this is the same for this guy, right? So we're going to have a little bit of a kind of where it comes down and around here. Okay, because we have to have room for our stuff. So we need to do that. Hey, Catherine, how are you? Um, all right, so we're going to paint these first. And then we're going to add all of our flowers and all of our goodness in here. That's why I was saying the background really didn't matter because we're going to we're going to cover it up. And so I'm going to use a little bit of a burnt orange because I think it kind of looks like that terracotta color. Um, we can use a little white mixed in with that. Thank you for sprinkling the love, Catherine. How are you on this Friday? Friday. 
All right. I am going to put a little bit of white in there just to lighten it a little bit, just to kind of give us that terracotta kind of feel. We're going to worry about everything else. It's going to have a little lip on it, but right now we're just putting our base color down. And we're just working on basic structure of the pot, right? And this is on on ground, so we don't need to worry about having a little um, thing underneath of it because it, it doesn't need it. Stop growing on me. Behave yourself. We're just gonna get this painted in. I'm gonna use a little dark to do our rounding, right? Because it's a rounded pot. I've already got a little light in there. So that's gonna work well for me. That I already have that light in there to blend into a little bit. This would be a perfect color combination for a kettle a copper pot too because it kind of looks like a copper pot doesn't it oh oh we got like perfect oh, i'm gonna use a little bit of that blue remember i told you that blue that prussian blue well, blue and orange are complementary colors, right? So if I put this blue with this burnt orange, I'm going to get a darker color. And so I don't need to introduce any other colors, but just this color to be our darker color. I'm going to come along this little ridge right here because we're going to have a little um, overhang, right? And so we need to create that little bit of a shadow from that. I'm just going to take advantage of this color to do that. I'm going to go along the bottom. And then because we're rounding and we have our light, that we're going to blend in we have to have our dark on this side because we have our light on that side right and so obviously our light is coming from this direction so because of that our rounding rules tell us that this side is the dark side and so we're going to do a little more we're going to add a little wider darkness here that we're going to blend in we're going to blend to the light, right? And then we're going to also put just a little bit of dark right down this edge here. Just a little bit of dark that's right there on that edge because then that's going to make our pot look rounded. Thank you, Sherry. And so To blend that a little bit more, I'm just gonna go back into that original color and I'm gonna come right here where they're meeting and just mix in a little bit. Let that just kind of blend in right there together. If you still have a line, you can do a little zigzag right there where that line is and work it right in and it'll blend in perfectly. And so now I wanna go back into that white. I haven't cleaned my brush. And I'm gonna just start to work right here where our line is. 
Squinting back. I'm not, notice I'm not going all the way to the bottom. I'm staying a little bit away from that bottom because it curves under also. And so I want my brightest point to be like right in this area here. So I'm gonna come into that white. And I'm just gonna put it down some white. I know a little scary, it's okay. Come on now, work with me. There we go. I wanna blend back into where that rounding is turning that dark color. And then I want us to blend this out a little bit here where I put that light in there. And push that back a little bit. And I'm gonna darken down here at this bottom part where it starts to roll up underneath where it curves. Okay. Now I'm going to go into the kind of the color we started with, and I'm going to put this lip on. Remember where we put that dark in? I'm going to put the lip on. I don't want to cover the full dark, but I want to just kind of come on top of it and create that lip. That is the top of, and I'm going to extend it a little bit this way. And come a little further. Just a little bit. And I'm going to extend it just a little bit further that away. And I can just kind of work back in that little area right there and look, work back in that area right there. That's going to most likely be covered up. But we want it to look like a flower pot. <laughs> And I know most of them have like the little, like they're like that, but it's okay. Air flower pot is air flower pot. We're gonna do the same with this one. We can decorate these up if we want to afterwards, but we're gonna do that afterwards because the flowers are gonna take up so much space that I don't really know that we need to decorate our pots up. They could just be hanging out. And this kind of just goes into that bottom area. We're going to separate that with some shadow color. Right now we're just painting it. We're just getting paint on canvas. So tell me if you have any fun plans for uh, the weekend. We're gonna be doing the calendar painting on Saturday. Hopefully you can join me then. And then Saturday night, we're taking our daughter-in-law out for her birthday. Her birthday is Saturday. So I'm super happy about that. I'm super excited. I don't know where she'll wanna go, but we typically, go to um a like a Japanese steakhouse that's here that's really good food so I'm really hoping that's what she picks but it's her birthday she gets to pick <laughs> so we'll see we'll see what she picks I don't know but whatever she picks it'll be good and it'll be fun <laughs> and we'll have a good time. And that's the important part. So.
just putting a little of that dark right there, doing the same sort of thing here, just so we have our lip already formed when we come in. Bad Below has canvases too, which I have used. Yes. I don't know. We don't have an Ollie's here. Our Ollie's, um, the, I guess the one closest to us uh, is about 45 minute drive for me. No, probably more like a 30 minute drive for me, probably. It's it's over in the valley. Um, I have been in the store, um, but that was probably more than a year ago now. And so um I don't go over there that often over into the over in the valley. So um maybe I'll have to check them out. This is a six by 12 canvas, just so you know the size I'm working with. Um, I get these from Blix online, Dick Blix. Um, and so we're going to put a little bit of that lighter color in. Actually, I'm going to go more into the original color. And yeah, I'm just kind of mixing whites. And this is how I paint right here. You see all these different colors just kind of like blended together. That's just on your brush. This is this is 90% of, of the way I'd work. Even when I work with like a bottle of paint, I'm still adding color to it to get different colors. And so. We're just going to put a little bit of a go back to that original color. And we're going to put a little highlight on this one too. Pop down your white, grab your other colors and just blend it in. When you're blending, guys, light touches, very light touch. When you want to blend something, just the slightest of a touch. That's all you have to do. You do not, it's not like a, a hard stroke or you have to get in there. Don't do that. Just, just light stroke and you'll blend it right in. I think that's sometimes the biggest issue with people when they're when, when you hear somebody say, oh, I can't, I don't have a tough time blending. It's not the colors they have a tough time with. It's the, it's the touch of the paintbrush because it's such a light touch. Because if you touch hard, you get the, you get the blend and all of a sudden you get the mix, I'm meant to say. And all of a sudden you're mixing your paints and you're not getting just that fine little blend. You can also use your finger and just rub a little bit. That sometimes helps. If you want to add a little additional light, get back with a light touch on a dry brush and just add a little bit. That's all you have to do. Super simple. I'm just going to put a little bit of color back in there. You're probably not going to see that. Hey, Kathy, you finally found me on the one that worked. Somehow, when I started my live, two lives started. Thank you, Facebook. <laughs> Thank you, Facebook. Because let's just make everything difficult in life, you know? We're going to get this one painted. 
Now our dirt is going to be in here and then our flower is going to be coming out this way. And these flowers are going to be falling off that way, I think. And so. Yeah, that's the other one. Six pack of eight by tens for ten dollars at Ollie's. That's a great deal. And you know, even if they're not like super high quality, that's okay. Because you know, it's it's good sometimes when you're practicing something new to use something that isn't like you know, hugely expensive or that you feel like that. But I bet you they're gonna be okay quality. And so that's actually, that's actually better than dollar store prices. You said 10, right? No, six pack. Okay. So, but still that's great price. Um, I'll have to check them out. Make, if she picks the uh, Japanese place, that's actually over in the Valley. And so um the one we like so it'll be right over there near it i'll have to check it out if she picks there i don't know if she'll want to go there or if she'll want to go somewhere in town i don't know we really enjoy that place that place has really good food and really great service. The Michaels ones are probably, you can probably get, so you get six for $10. So that's like a dollar and 25 cents a piece right no a dollar and 33 cents a piece right because it's six dollars for for six and then you've got four dollars divided by six so it's something like that um close to that but you'd have to do the math because the ones at Michael's, you get eight, you get, I think there's 10 in that pack and they are $12.99, I think. And so, oh, but if you have a 20% off, 5% off coupon, then, you know, you have to, you have to account for that too. Um, hey, Kelly, good to see you. um good to see y'all good to see you how are you this friday i didn't see you go live on thursday girlfriend i've been looking for you but i did love your wreath that you did on um was it monday and tuesday <laughs> or tuesday and wednesday i get I, this week has been so screwed up with with days for me I don't know I lose track it must have been Monday and Tuesday because I remember you saying you were going to go live on Thursday I thought you said that and then you weren't live but I get it sometimes crap happens and you're like well so much for being able to go live today <laughs> So Kelly is uh, Miss Bubbles inspired and she does chalk couture and 
Um, and she's grabbing her page. So if y'all could give her page a little love, if y'all are into chalks, um, couture stuff or or like you know the stencils that I have the, like the sticky back with the chalk paint chalk paste um or inks you could give her page a little love all right so there we go we have a three pots that look pretty good um they're not perfect but then again we're probably going to make them really not perfect in a little bit and so, cause my pots outside, they, they look a little rough. They've been out there for several years now and they are showing their wear. Your brother surprised you. Well, that's a good surprise. That's always a good surprise when family comes. Sometimes it just depends on if you like your family. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, but you know, anyway, all right, that aside, I'm going to use a little bit of plantation pine. I've already got my Hauser medium green out, and I'm actually going to use a little bit of this matcha green for some greenery on here. And then we're gonna figure out what flowers we want to put on here. I don't know, but I've got some pinks, some yellows, some purples. I just thought we could have fun with it. And so, um, we're gonna put in some greenery. I'm gonna go a little bit into that dark Hauser or the plantation pine, which is my darkest green. And I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of that medium Hauser green just to lighten it just slightly. And here's where we're gonna have like a lot of fun because we're just gonna put in just some vines of some something that's hanging out of this pot, right? And so we don't know. We don't know yet what that is. We're gonna we're gonna figure that out. And you're hardly gonna be able to see the difference between this and and our background. We're just making it up. And I'm going to put just a little bit coming out of this one because I want it to be in the background of whatever we put in this pot. I want to have this like little green, whatever viney thing is going to be in all three of them. And so. <laughs> Might need a little bit of a makeover too. Mind the paint has popped off of them. The but y'all know I like I like things when they look old. So and look like they've been worn out. <laughs> the older it looks, the more I like it and so I'm all about that these are just gonna be cute little vines when we're done or little flowers maybe I don't know I don't know what we're doing but we're gonna put just some cute little we're not gonna we're not gonna get all technical and like whatever we're just gonna put some cute little pink flowers yellow flowers maybe some purple I don't know, some springy time flowers in there. I've got a couple of different pinks here. I don't know which one I just put down. Um, this one might be a little slightly different. Yeah, that's a slightly different color. So I've got candy pink. I've got carousel pink. I've got some vintage pink. 
I've got a bright yellow and a golden yellow. Um, I have a Dax Design purple. And a golden yellow. And I have my Prussian blue if I want to have a little bit of a blue. And I have all of my greens down. So now we're just going to go grab Have Fun. Oh, cool. What did you order? I love like catalogs, flower catalogs, seed catalogs. I love, I love those. And so we're just going to have some fun here. I'm going to grab a little bit of my pinks. I'm just going to grab a little bit of each color on my brush. Doesn't really matter. Like we're, this is not really a, a two um where they call it the donna dewberry um thing but we're gonna do a little something like that though i'm gonna push my brush down turn it a little bit and create just like a little bit of a petal just turn it a little bit so you get that little petal looking like thing going there right and this one we're gonna have five Kind of looks like maybe a little bit of phlox coming in there. Just a cute little like flower. And we'll just go do the same thing. Just twist a little bit. If we go over top, we go over top. It doesn't matter. They can all be different sizes. Some lavender, yeah. Oh, impatience. Oh, I like those. Impatience do well um, up by my waterfall. They do well um, by my waterfall. They like that. They like that moisture from the waterfall. And begonias do well up there too. Um, I usually plant those in the pots by my waterfall. Some begonias and some. Um, impatience and and I love petunias that's usually what I plant in these pots is some petunias because you can get those ones that like the trailing ones you know that just like go and I usually plant some of those in these pots Yeah, yeah, I get that. I would not do a whole lot either, not with having to move and and do all that hard work and somebody else. I mean, it's it's nice that somebody else gets to enjoy it, but you're like you're moving and you don't get to enjoy it, which is no fun. So, guys, just when you're doing this, just pick up the pace and and just put them down and put them down in like little clusters. You don't have to be like, you know, because you can separate them afterwards. Um, and just let them go all different directions. And just let my brush just touch down and do it it's just as quick you can do the little twisty thing if you want and get the little you know some of them to come out like the way you wanted but 
just a whole bunch of little phloxes sitting out there or whatever. These kind of remind me of phlox. <laughs> no one told the mosquitoes. <laughs> that happens. It's like, you're like, you're not supposed to like these. I usually get um, lemongrass um, up at my waterfall. I plant lemongrass. Um, it's expensive. I think it's a little bit pricey, but it it definitely works. Um, and I just, I plant the lemongrass up there and um, now I'm just go dot a few of these. You know, some of them you may not be seeing the center. So don't dot them all because if you're not seeing the center in them, um, you know, it's like, or just put a little teeny tiny mark because you might just be cutting it off or something, you know. And you can pick up a little bit of white and just pop a little bit of a white. Let it blend because you, when you pop this down, you you put a lot of um, let it mix. Hit it kind of hard and let it just mix. But let it, you know a little if you a little white shows that's okay. Maybe the maybe the light's hitting that one. And then we can come in with their little liner brush, grabbing the matcha and a little bit of that plantation pine and just pop. Yeah, yeah, to knock something off upstairs. I heard it hit the floor, pow. <laughs> little badass. Whoops, I shouldn't have said that word, but he is, he can be. When he wants attention, he'll knock stuff off of the counter or off of the thing. He's allowed to get on one of the little counters that no food is on. And that's where I, I keep his food because that way um, Kai doesn't eat his food because if anywhere else Kai can get it. And so we have like a little area that just has like the bills and stuff like that on one of the little counters. And um, but food is never on it ever and so it works it's like kind of like a little secretary desk type thing and so um <clears throat> but he's he's probably knocked off the stack of mail that is sitting on it that would be my guess is what he just knocked off his dish is probably empty that's probably his problem I did not fill his, I didn't put any food in his dish before I came down. I didn't check it. <laughs> so that's probably why he's upset. Bad thing. But. And that, that counter is a little bit lower than their normal counters because it's, it's made to be like a little desk type thing to, you know, do your bills or have your computer there. I do sit there sometimes with my computer, um, but that was the idea when the kitchen was designed. And so he can actually get on that one. Oh, yes, and you're like, I know he has done something up there. I got lavender to attract the butterflies and the bees 
and to keep ants away. We'd have big problems with fire ants. Oh, yes. I I don't have any, I don't think we have any fire. Well, we might have them. I haven't seen them here at this house, but um, it's funny how the flowers that you pick can, can attract or um, detour certain animals. And so we're going to put a little bit of a different kind of flower here. I don't know what this one is. Don't ask me. Um, going to be just like I don't know. <laughs> This is going to have four and just be in our yellows. Kind of more of like a star look and like one. Thank you for sprinkling the love. Yeah, I suspect he's upset that there's no food in his bowl. Um, <laughs> he usually is very good unless there's a few things he gets upset about. One, if I don't go to bed when he's ready to go to bed, he can get upset and he just like will worry you to death um, because you're not doing what he wants. And this is a cat. And the other thing is if his if he can see the bottom of his food bowl. And so if he looks at his food bowl and he can see the bottom, even if it has food in it, but if he can see the actual bottom of it, he gets very upset. <laughs> and wants to like pitch a fit. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of green and I'm just gonna work a little bit of green into some of these. Just a little bit. And so. But he came off the street, so he knows what it's like to be hungry and I think he remembers that before he came here. And so he just is like, but they're, they're the things that get him going. <laughs> I don't know. He's pretty good. He's kind of mellowed out in his old age. He's not that old, but we've had him for four or five years now something like that Okay, so we've got some yellow. <laughs> they are the best. This is a cat. He came um, um, but he he joined us on his own. He picked us. We didn't pick him. Well, we kind of picked him after he picked us, but he picked us first. I'm just going to add a little bit of white, just like I did before, just a little touch, just to help give, give a little pop to our different, um, 
little flowers here. And so, yeah, he, he totally picked us. And um, I saw this uh, cat, I saw him out on our back deck. Um, he was eating out of the cat bowl out there because at the time we had cats that kind of went in and out. And, um, and so he was eating out there and it didn't have much in the dish. And I told Todd, I said, put a little bit of food in that bowl. I said, I see this like new cat out there. I haven't seen before, you know, and he's eating. I said, he's probably hungry. And so, um, he went out and went to put some food in the bowl and ended up, <laughs> the cat ran inside, <laughs> was just like, hello, I'm home. And at the time we had um, Cody and my border collie and Oscar I think Hunter had already left us at that time. Uh, yeah, Hunter had already left us. And so um, at that time, I'm just doing these like little, almost like, I don't know, maybe a petunia type of a thing. I don't know. They're just kind of like little wiggly, little wiggly um, kind of. Just little wiggly things. I don't know. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> maybe petunias. Maybe that's what they would be. But. So he came inside. And I told Ted. I said obviously this cat is. Like. Friendly. Right. Because he just comes running inside. And we've had other cats. That we've seen out on the deck. And stuff eating that was like you they see you and they run and and so I was like obviously you know he is not feral he belongs to somebody so we call the neighbors and no one's missing a cat we're like okay well nobody's missing a cat my neighbor comes over to to see him so you know he because he at the time, this is my neighbor who moved away recently, but he knew a lot of the people around us at the farms and stuff. And he was like, I'll, you know, let me see what he looks like. And I can see if, you know, one of the area farms um, is missing their cat. He comes over to see him while Yo-Yo oh. runs and hides. Like he's scared to death of him. Won't come out. <laughs> Couldn't get him to come out. And it was just like the weirdest thing. And even to this day, like when my family comes out or Ted's family comes out, he hides. He won't have, he acts like a feral cat. Won't have nothing to do with them. All this time. But yeah, he just runs inside and is like, hello, I'm home. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't get it. We can, you know, he... We, we pick him up, we hold him, we, he wants us to love on him all the time, but no one else. I don't know, I told Tess, I think he just found his home and he was like, this is my home and, and he was found with both dogs, like, He'd been scoping us out. Maybe. I don't know, D. I'm sorry. Are anybody else having a problem with the video? Because mine has been going pretty well. Um, now, you're not on the, the other one I deleted. So I know you're not on the other one. Um,
Yeah, rescues are the best. Oscar was a rescue dog. He was he was one of the best. He was. I found him up on our end of our road in my neighbor's trash can I mean no my neighbor didn't put him in the trash can he was foraging for food in the trash can and so um but I found him up there foraging for food So that's why I told you it really doesn't matter about our background because we're going to cover it up anyway. Good here. I'm not having a problem. Okay. Yeah, D, it might be the fact that you are, you know, getting snow and I don't know how your internet is done, but it could be that you're just, that's a shame. I'm sorry, because this is turning out really cute. And we're just making this up, guys. I mean, this is just, these flowers are just kind of made up. There's kind of like a little bit of a vision on when you start them, but then they all get so combined together that it's, you know, like hard to see where they are. But that's okay. So you just end up making it up. I'm gonna come in with some yellow on this one and just, again. Kind of make up where you think you see um, the center of one or a little bit of a center of one. Yep, totally different from yours. Not looking forward to those when I move. Not looking forward. We have big problems. Fire ants. Oh, yes. Yeah, I would not be looking forward to fire ants either. <laughs> like, yeah, that's not the thing to look forward to. In fact, I would be like, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm gonna put a little bit of a green in here. Um, what do I want in there? Maybe like a little bit of this flower in green up in here would be really pretty with something other. Um, yes. I don't know that I've ever had fire ants. I don't know if in Virginia we had them. We may not have them here. And so we're just gonna do some green. I think that would be pretty up in here. Just a little added green. Um, I usually like to see which flowers are trailing, you know, when there's a, a nursery, I almost said a pharmacy guys, like I'm losing my mind. Um, that we go to, it's also over in the valley called Millmont. That's the name of it. And it's run by, um, I think they're Amish or Mennonite. They're Mennonite, a family of Mennonites. Anyway, it is so beautiful. And I mean, I'm telling you, the flower they have like an enormous selection of flowers and they are always so beautiful and you can buy them 
you could eat you could buy the plants to plant which i do and you can buy the already like where they have already put them together in a container and let me tell you they are so beautiful i buy i do both and they have the prettiest hanging baskets you've ever seen they'll have like these petunia hanging baskets that are like you can't wrap your arms around them and and they just trail all down i mean you would only spend all summer growing your petunias to that to that size um because of course they've grown them in a greenhouse you know to sell them um but it is so beautiful You're too far north and be happy for it. Okay, good. I'm too far north. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we have fire ants here. We have, um, you know, you'll see these like little red little like things on like bricks and stuff like that, that are um and they'll sting you, but they're they're teeny tiny. They look like just little red dots. And but I don't think they're called fire ants. I think these are like a form of spider, but um they're a little bit of a a little bit of a hassle, but you know, it's not bad. But if y'all are ever in the Shenandoah area, I guess it's um, Stewart Strath. Called Stewart Strath. Look up that place because y'all will love that place, especially if you love flowers. It's it's gorgeous. It's just pretty to go over there. They have it laid out so pretty. It's just, it's just like a nice visit just to go over there and walk around and just look at all of the pretty flowers. And they have this like, they also have this little area because um, it's right beside, I guess, where they live and they have these goats. And so they have this thing like where the goats can climb up on and you can watch the goats. They're cute. And so we're going to put maybe a little, maybe a little pink dot in these. I don't know, whatever color, just whatever color you want. And again, it's so hard to tell where the different ones are. Just make it up. It's going to be cute when you're done. See, it just looks like a bunch of of uh, i don't know but yet when you look at it you know your your mind's eye sees flowers yes i tell you they have some of the prettiest things they have some of the prettiest things there And we go to, um, there's another Amish place over there called Troyer's, where we get a lot of our um, fruits. They grow them right there on their farm. And so we get a lot of our like strawberries and blueberries, blackberries when they're in season, of course, um, from him. He has some of the best strawberries you have put in your mouth. And y'all, I even I raise tomatoes, but I still buy my tomato. I buy tomatoes there too. <laughs> because he has such good tomatoes. Like his tomatoes are so good. 
that you're like, yeah, even though I have a garden that has tomatoes and I'm buying tomatoes, this makes sense, right? <laughs> that makes perfect sense, Amanda, for you to be doing that. <laughs> I just want to put a little yellow. Just have a little yellow on my vines here. I don't know what these things are, but whatever they are, they're going to have a little yellow just because I feel like I need a little yellow out there. We're going to make up our own flowers. Somewhere in, somewhere in all the flowers in all the world, they'll have something that looks like this. You'd be like, yeah, that's totally what I knew that. Oh, the lantana, yes, that's pretty. Get portulaca, vinca flowers, yes. And lots of lantana. I do my mom's porch every year, plant the flowers for her Mother's Day gift. That's her Mother's Day gift from me. And we get that lantana. In fact, let's put a little lantana on here because that's kind of a fun plant. And that stuff just goes everywhere that stuff kind of that's kind of like I don't know little little dots of little clumps like that and yeah I know I'm off my vine but I'm doing that on purpose because you'll see in a minute why Cause this stuff just grows everywhere and it goes. Go into a little bit of white. I'm just gonna come in and just touch in some white in these little clusters. Yeah, they will fry. Yeah, you will fry a petunia. Petunias are very heat sensitive little things. Although they're kind of hardy as all get out because I have like where one of them broke off and it went, it fell down from my porch. And underneath my porch every year, um, this little petunia will pop up. <laughs> Every year, this little petunia pops up. <laughs> and so, but. <laughs> This is just meant to have fun with guys. Put any flowers you want in yours. Any flowers at all. My eyeball keeps watering. It's just a matter of just touching down, right? I want a little bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this color that we use for our pots. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of this golden color into it. And I'm gonna get a little bit of this like lighter orange, but 
kind of more on the golden orange color. And I'm just going to come in and just tap a little bit of this in on this lantana, I guess. If we're calling this lantana, I don't know. Just a little bit of color. Thank you, Kathy. Is it perennial? It really? I get well, I guess so. I bet it does come back every year down there. I tell you what, when we planted it on my, on my mom's porch, it goes just like all the way across the porch. She has to like trim it back. Okay, on the top, what do we want to put on the top of our um, pot? What kind of flower? Y'all tell me what kind of flower you want to see on the top. What kind of flower do we want to see on the top? Strawberry. Strawberries. <laughs> Blue, okay. Um, why don't we save the strawberries? Because we'll do that another day. We'll do strawberries another day when we just are doing strawberries. Um, I said blue. We'll do we'll do something that is just strawberries. Give it a little bit of grass. Like strawberries. I have to think about it. I gotta think too hard on strawberries right now. That's like one of them. I gotta think about that. <laughs> It would be a great trailing because they do kind of trail down. Um, any other suggestions besides blue and sharp blue? What though? What could we do blue? Now give me some ideas. I guess we could do strawberries, but that's kind of a wrong color palette for what we got going on. That brings in red. Kelly's like strawberry. <laughs> Blue. Y'all give me something. Or I guess it will be like little strawberries. I don't know. I try to grow strawberries, but I have not had the best of luck with strawberries. I'm gonna say that. One year um, I had some in a hanging basket and I had them, I had to bring them in um, because it had gotten cold. I'd you know, gotten them and before the frost was gonna be done and well, in bringing them in my garage, I brought a snake in with them. It was just a little black snake, but that's how he got in. I'm just going to put a little bit more of a highlight on this one because this is sitting directly in the sun. And so just a little bit more of a highlight. I might even put in a little bit of yellow morning glory flowers hydrangea 
How about <laughs> pansies? Okay. All right. I like the idea of a hydrangea. I like that. Or verbenia. Y'all throwing out names. I'm like, I don't even know what these things look like. <laughs> I mean, I know the flower and I've gotten them before. I've actually planted verbenia before, but it's like off the top of my head, like what does a verbenia look like? I'm going to have to have like a little dictionary here beside me. So I know like, oh, verbenia look like that. Okay, that's what we can do. I had to go get my catalog upstairs. I just painted for 10 flowers. Well, see, that's kind of like these. These are just like, I don't know what they are. I will show y'all a little trick for a uh, hydrangea. I'll show you that. We'll do like a blue hydrangea. And so I'm going to take this Prussian blue. Now you need a lot of paint for this, guys, and you need to look, work quick for this, okay? Um, and I'm just going to fill in this area, right? All the area where I'm going to have my hydrangea. Grab a little bit of purple. I want this paint to be extremely wet, a little more blue. Come up on this next area. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of this matcha green for the top. Figure out like, okay, I want it to look like this and I want it to be like this big. Don't make it a complete little circle, right? Give it some again, lots of paint. You want it to be lots of paint. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This is like a number six flat brush. I'm gonna get my, get it wet, get my, get my bristles wet. I'm going into just white paint. Got my brush up on its edge. This will go one. You got to work quick. You want to go up above your circle, below your circle, and you're just doing like little crosses. If they overlap, they overlap, that's fine.
and you totally just make it up, right? But you let that white mix into all that paint that you had down there and you, again, you wanna cover. You don't wanna see that circle or whatever you it ended up putting down initially. It's okay if it like pops through like, you know, the thing, but you want to be able to just you can put over top, you can layer. And if you need to, you can go pick up any of your other colors with that white if you want to, you know? You're like, I need to layer in um, one in this area here, or, you know, in this area here, you can get your brush dirty with all the colors and layer it in. But then you have a nice little hydrangea. That fills your top. Nope, no pattern. It's actually better if you don't have a pattern. And so you're actually you're actually better with no pattern than if you put a pattern in there and you're trying to like um go for it. For most flowers, when you're working with the flower, it is especially i mean unless you want like the perfect rose or something like that or the perfect type of flower if you're just making it up like this it's better not to have a pattern you could have just kind of like a little circle of okay here's where i kind of want this and here's kind of where i want this and here's kind of where i want that but it's better to just not have to worry about painting in like the perfect little things and so, um, you know, you could pop in a little, just a little leaf, because, you know, these have these like really kind of funny leaves and just do a little shape. Paint that in. If you add a little blue to that green, you're going to darken it just a little bit. Plus to get a little bit of a blue in there. And come in and just dark side. Let's go on the dark side. So underneath and then over here, we're just going to pull back to that center. Pull back kind of like to the back and then towards the center. So don't go straight to the center, kind of angle it back, but go towards that center. And then just on the chisel edge, pull from there up from your center. You want to go out a little bit on your center. You can kind of have this like fun little tip to your leaf. And then grab a little bit of that matcha, that lighter green. And do the same thing kind of on your lighter side. Just stair step and pull towards that center and back. And then you've got like the perfect little leaf. Just that simple. But there's our topsy turvy stacked flower pots. And completely different than what um, Cindy sent me from hers. Everybody's is gonna be different. It doesn't matter. Even if you took this pattern and you did yours, it would be, it would be different. Thank you. The last thing you want to do is just take a little bit of that matcha. 
and just put a center in some of your um, different Just kind of again, you make you make it up. See how it just it's made up. Now I would do the sides of these green. I would paint the side of this green and just kind of tip the edge all the way around it. But thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Cindy. So there it is. Um, I'm gonna turn this up. I think I'm gonna turn this up. Come on. Oh, hi, <laughs> anyway, but there it is. And so our topsy-turvy little um, flower pot. And so I hope you do it. I hope to see it. Um, if you do, hi, <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, anyway, Tomorrow, remember, we are doing our calendar piece. And so join me at 11. I think it's 